good morning students today we are going to discuss week 1 assignment 1 of nptl integrated waste management for a smart city and the first question is which of the following is not true for mismanaged soil waste and the, we have four options the black death bubonic plague pandemic in the 14th century has been linked to inadequate waste disposal practices second one it leads to environmental pollution public health risk and increase the greenhouse gas emissions or it reduces the need for waste management policies as the committees adapt to improve per disposal or fourth that is poorly managed sites can become super fun sites and in between of four options the right option is c that it reduces the need for waste management policies as communities adapt to improper. Now moving to question number second, what is the main objective of integrated waste management? To promote open dumping, to manage waste in an environmentally sound, economically feasible and socially acceptable manner, C to increase landfill size or to maximize waste generation. And the right answer for question number two is b to manage waste in an environmentally sound economically feasible and socially acceptable manner now moving to question number three which of the following statement is true for municipal solid waste management msw meat bones and weed seeds should not be avoided in compost piles all recycled material have quality similar to virgin materials and have a stable global markets durable product design is a key strategy in source reduction Electricity cannot be recovered from MST, MSW. Which of the following statements is true for municipal solid waste management? Durable product design is a key strategy in source reduction. That is C is the right answer for question number 3. Now moving to question number 4. Refuse derived fuel primarily involves burning unsegregated waste, burning waste, shredding and processing waste for, for use as a fuel or freezing waste for reuse. And the right answer for question number four is shredding and processing waste for use as a fuel. Now, what is the primary purpose of daily cover in landfills? To increase waste volume, to control paste odors and litters, to enhance leachate formation, to replace liner system. And the right answer for question number five is to control paste odors and litters. Which of the following, which materials are used in a typically composite liner system? And we have four options that is compacted clay hdp geo membrane concrete gravel sand plus gravel geo textile plus wood chips and the right answer for question number 6 is compacted clay plus hdp geo membrane now moving to question number 7 a major challenge in waste to energy project is low energy recovery low cost public concern about air emissions minimal land requirement and the right answer for question number public concern about air emissions now moving to question number 8, how is landfill gas typically collected? Vertical extraction wells, open flaring pits, leachate recirculation, daily cover compaction. The right answer for question number 8 is vertical extraction wells. Now moving to question number 9, which of the following is not true about landfill liner system? Durable lines include low permeability barriers and leak detection system. Primary role of geotextile is to separate and filter fine soil particles from drainage layers. Geonet provide high transmissivity for lateral leachate drainage or geonet replace the need for geo membranes. And the right answer is liners, double liners include low permeability barriers and leak detection system. Now moving to question number 10, which regulatory factors restrict landfill location near airports or wetlands? Socioeconomic impact, population density, environmental safety, and operational cost and the right answer is question number that is your c environmental safety so these are the for probable answer for all the question tense of nptl week one assignment one for integrated waste management for a smart city hope you will submit your assignment at time and if possible you can subscribe my channel thank you to all